today I want to talk to you about what self-gratitude is, why it's important, and how to incorporate it into your life every single day. My name is Amanda, and I encourage people to see themselves through God's lens and not their own. So today I want to talk to you about self-gratitude. Self-gratitude is the quality or feeling of being grateful or thankful for who you are as an individual. It is a practice of affirming all the amazing things about yourself. So this can include things like your gifts, your strengths, your talents, your personality, your characteristics, your inner and outer beauty, all of that. For many of us, it's so easy to give gratitude and appreciation to others, but we often find it difficult to give ourselves that same gratitude, that same appreciation, that same love for the wonderful people that we are. We often pour into others, but that doesn't mean that they're going to pour back into us. And we can't continue to pour out of an empty vessel. So we have to make sure that we are filling ourselves up. And we have to do that by pouring into ourselves. We cannot rely on other people to clap for us or cheer for us or to show appreciation for us. So we have to give gratitude to ourselves. So it is time for you to start celebrating yourself and seeing that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. It's time for you to start pouring into yourself and realizing how amazing you truly are. It's time to stop expecting others to pour into you or relying on others to pour into you. And it's time for you to pour into yourself. It's time for you to build yourself up. Self-gratitude is important because it's recognizing and embracing your greatness. It is seeing yourself through God's lens and not your own. When you practice self-gratitude, you are honoring your uniqueness. You are honoring the person that you were created to be. You are honoring yourself. But most importantly, you are honoring God and the wonderful creation that He created you to be. When God created you, He created you in His image and likeness. He has a purpose for your life, a calling for your life, and he created you exactly how you are supposed to be. He put everything in you that you need. And so you need to start recognizing that, embracing that, and giving yourself the props and honors that you deserve. God created you with the characteristics that you need, the personality that you need, the mind to think the way it does. So it's time for you to embrace the person that God created you to be and to start loving who he created you to be. Since we are created in his image, we know that we have power in our tongue. His word tells us that in Proverbs 18, 21, there's life and death in the power of your tongue. So you can use your tongue to either build yourself up or to tear yourself down. The choice is yours. But what I'm encouraging you to do is to start building yourself up to start speaking positive over yourself, to start speaking life over yourself. Starting right now, you need to stop saying anything negative about yourself. And you need to start speaking only positive things about yourself. Use the power of your tongue to build you up and to give you life. And that's why affirmations are so important because it is being intentional about the words that you speak about yourself. It's those I am statements. I am an overcomer. I am redeemed. I have the mind of Christ. I am beautiful. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am made in his image and likeness. I am a child of God. I am an heir in God's kingdom. I have beautiful hair. I am a beautiful person. I am in the right body. You know, whatever it is. You need to start having gratitude for who God created you to be. So we exercise self-gratitude by recognizing all of the great things about ourselves. And we start speaking those things over ourselves. We start acknowledging those things. Regardless of how we feel about a certain trait of ourselves, we only speak positive things. 
So we have to take those negative thoughts captive and only speak positive because that's the only way that you're going to change the way that you think and speak about yourself is being intentional, being intentional about taking those negative thoughts captive, those things that you don't like about yourself, because we all have those things. And we have to be intentional about speaking positive. Even if we don't fully love or embrace that part about ourselves yet, the more we speak it, the more we are going to believe it. And I know for me personally, that was something that I became very intentional about was the self-gratitude, the recognizing the greatness in me, recognizing the positive things in me, and being intentional about taking those negative thoughts captive and changing them into something positive even when I didn't believe them about myself. But the more that I spoke them, the more I started to believe them. And I'm at a place now where I fully believe all those positive things that I was saying about myself. I love myself. I love who God created me to be. I love the woman that I am. I love every part of who I am. And even though I have days where I may struggle with, you know, my physical appearance or or the way I think about something or feel about something or whatever it is, I know now that those things are not the truth. That negative way of thinking was not the truth. And because I was intentional about implementing gratitude into my life, I am now able to recognize when those thoughts come and they're a lie. And I'm now able to take those thoughts captive and be like, that's not the truth. This is the truth. And I'm able to speak positively about myself. And I love myself in a way that I had never loved myself before. And I see myself so differently now because I started becoming grateful for the great things about who I am. And so when I share these strategies, it's because I know that they work. They worked for me. And I know they worked for others and I know they can work for you because you are worth it. You are an amazing person. God created you for a purpose. And the problem is we don't necessarily see how great we are, but I want you to start seeing yourself as God's creation as the wonderful, amazing person that he created you to be. And so I'm going to share some strategies on how to exercise self-gratitude on a daily basis, because it does need to happen every single day, because those thoughts come every single day. And the word of God tells us in Romans 12 to renew our mind daily, because God knew that those struggles and those negative thoughts are going to come every single day. So we have to renew our minds daily. Right now, I want you to make a list of every trait about yourself. So think about your strengths, your gifts, your talents, the things that you are naturally good at, your personality, your characteristics, and anything else that you can think about yourself. List physical traits too, but only if they are done in a positive manner. So make a list of all of that stuff first. And you can go ahead and pause this video and start making a list. So now that you have your list done, we are going to start making I love statements. So I love my blank. I love that I blank. I love how blank, whatever it is. Start making a list of I love statements. I love my gift of exhortation. I love my strengths of whatever it is. I love my eyes. I love whatever it is. Just make that list of I love statements. After you've completed your sentences, I want you to start reading them out loud and read them out one at a time and read it slowly. And as you're reading it, just let those words pour over yourself. I love the way my mind processes information. Let the words start to flow out of your mouth and envelop every part of your body. Let them fill your heart and mind and continue to speak them. Now I want to caution you. 
Do not allow yourself to filter any of these things that you are saying. Do not allow any of those negative thoughts to come forward when you are saying them. This continuous practice of positive self-gratitude will change the way that you think about yourself. And it will help you to see yourself the way that God sees you. Another way to practice self-gratitude is by keeping a daily gratitude journal. And so that is taking, you know, five to 10 minutes, however long, um, you know, the time really doesn't matter, but it's being intentional about writing a gratitude statement about yourself, you know, in a notebook, journal, whatever it is, to writing it out, reading it, speaking it out loud. And if you want to take it to another level, stand in front of a mirror and say it. See what that does. This will help you to create a daily habit of renewing your mind and seeing yourself the way that God sees you. It forces you to interrupt those negative thought patterns and replace them with the positive things about yourself, the truth about who you are, the wonderful person that you are. So maybe just start with one thing about yourself and just continue adding to it day after day. And what you can do is you can use those I love statements that I talked about earlier as your um, statements in your gratitude journal. So just do whatever works best for you, but make sure you keep it positive. I recommend doing at least one of these strategies a day. Maybe it's just doing the I love statements, or maybe it's keeping a gratitude journal, but do at least one thing every day because you are worth it. And you deserve to see yourself the way God sees you. You deserve to see the amazing person that you are. You deserve to break free of the negative thoughts about yourself. You are worth it and only you can change the way that you see yourself. You are responsible for how you think about yourself, how you speak about yourself, how you treat yourself. But know that you are worth seeing yourself right. You are worth seeing yourself as fearfully and wonderfully made in the image and likeness of God. You are worth seeing yourself the way that God sees you, the way that he created you. You are worth it. Say it right now out loud. Say, I am worth it. Say it again. I am worth it. One more time. I am worth it. I am worth it. You are worth it. And that's my desire is for every person to see themselves the way that God created them to be. Because I know how it feels to move from that negative mindset, that negative thinking, to positive thinking. I know how amazing it feels to see myself the way that God sees me and to love myself and to realize that I'm actually an amazing person. And because I know how great that feels, I want every person to feel that. I want every person to wake up every single day loving who they are, loving everything about them. Loving the person that God created them to be. That's my desire. I'm going to link my workbook below. It's called You Don't Actually Suck. A guide to seeing yourself through God's lens and not your own. And it's the strategies that God gave me in my process of healing and self-discovery. And I put them in a workbook because I want to share them with everyone. Thank you for watching this video and have a blessed day.